In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, it is our creativity that often takes a back seat in our hectic schedule. Whether you have a full-time job or your life is just crazy with responsibilities, it's easy to neglect the creative spirit. However, there is one super powerful and often overlooked tool at your disposal that could help with this. And that is none other than your inner child creativity and your sense of play. Why can't I present? Oh my God. Okay, let's start over. <laughs> However, there is one major tool at your disposal that is often seriously overlooked and that is play. And I don't mean play like, well, it could mean playing video games if that's what you did as a kid, but try to tap into your favorite activity that you did as a child and use that to reignite that spark, that initial native spark that led you to become or identify as a creative to begin with. Let's put the play back in creativity. When did creativity become a chore anyway? Just another to do on the list. While it is super important to calendar block time of your busy schedule for creativity, so you actually have time to make your creative project happen, don't let the stress of limited time for creativity or even worse, the fear of what others think stop you in your tracks of your creative project before you even begin. And to help with that, here are six great tips on how to unlock your inner child and your sense of play, fun, and joy to help really spark that initial creativity to really help you get in the flow mindset of creativity so that you can actually finish your project and have fun doing it. So grab your favorite teddy bear and, and some milk and cookies and let's dive right into it. Tip number one, think of unlocking your inner child and create a play. I got notes, so you know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying not to read off of them, but it's really hard. Uh, so bear with me. <laughs> been a while since I vlogged. Um, anyway, now that we got that out of the way, um, but seriously though, to, if you unlock your creative spirit and not be so worried what others think about you, like like what I did just back there, um, you know, have fun with it. Really embrace that inner child spirit. And that includes play. You know, kids love to play. It's no secret. Um, so yeah, really truly just try to get back into your inner spirit is the short version of this post but i do have some tips so keep on watching um and i'm just a bad presenter so i'm gonna be reading um i'm nervous if you could tell so take a do do as i say not as i do because i try to be confident and stuff but it it is hard anyway that's not the point of this post the point of this post <laughs> Is, is to have fun with it and not take it so seriously. So that's why I'm being a little more casual. But anyway, um, can unlocking your inner child help you create better co content? And I use that word content not as a content creator or for social media, although I put that in the category as creativity. Um, but I believe it can because no matter the medium, the mindset of creativity is universal. And like viewers and readers can tell if you're not having fun with your content. Like if if I just sounded really dull and boring presenting this, you know, you would have you would have fallen asleep by now. So, you know, if your audience doesn't, um, and I think that translates to with books. Like you could tell when you're reading books, like when the author just um, kind of stopped having fun with it. So, you know, having fun with it can help you create better material whatever you're working with because it's coming from a sense of purity and free-spiritedness and um, just true creativity. So if you're having fun, the audience is going to have more fun um, watching it or listening to it or whatever it is that you create. Second step is be eager to show off. If you've ever worked with kids or if you have kids of your own or you babysat, um, you know that kids are super eager to show off. You know, they're like, look what I made. And they're just so excited to show you. And, you know, with age, unfortunately, you know, we get ridiculed, we get shamed, we get scolded for 
showing off and unfortunately especially for women we're told we're too bossy or we're told um, to be modest so you know it's a shame that that happens but if you embrace your inner child and you know be super excited to show off your work um, I think that will help not it, it might help you not be so afraid to share your work because I know I've made tons of videos that I filmed, typed out and everything, um, but I've just not hit the publish button because I've been too scared and I've definitely had blog posts like that. So don't be afraid to share your work as the second point. Tip number three is, is believe in magic again. Do you believe in magic? and a young girl's heart. I'll spare you my singing, but that is one of my favorite oldie songs, and it's an oldie but a goodie, and so true. We're never too old to believe in faith, trust, and pixie dust, or anything like that, and whether you're a Disney fan or not, there is magic to be seen throughout the world, um, so just try to spark that imaginative way of looking at the world around you, because there's magic in being kind, there's magic in helping each other, there's magic in um, your own house, you know, just, you know, look behind your couch or, you know, build a, a uh, you know, pillow fort or something. I mean, anything could become magical or look up at the clouds or, you know, just don't take things too seriously and then things could become pretty magical. And on a similar note, tip number four is to see the world with wonder. And that is kind of what we were just talking about where kind of lower your, I don't want to say lower your expectations, but literally lower your point of view because kids are always, you know, they're smaller, so they're looking up. So try to see the world from a child's perspective if you're able to um, just suspend your, your uh, uh, view of reality for a moment and just pretend that you're a kid again. And it's a pretty fun activity. So I do, I do enjoy doing that. I still really want cookies too. <laughs> from that intro um and don't be afraid to laugh you know be silly don't be so professional um but if you're able to if it's safe to go outside of your usual environment definitely recommend that maybe take a different route that you're used to or go on a walk for no reason or pretend a hike is like a uh, you know magical land you know just open your horizons <laughs> that note as well um like children are so curious they're always asking why or what if so and i as an author i use that all the time you know what if this happens or why does that happen or what if we did it a different way how would that affect it you know asking you know simple questions like that is a great way to trigger the brain into being curious and curious is a um, on the same level as creativity. So that's pretty awesome. And another tip is, I lost count. <laughs> another tip is, oh, my cat was looking sweet. Another, <laughs> being goofy is part of it, okay? Um, but another tip is do what's fun in the moment. Don't just create what you think would be popular or sell or even worse, what the agents want, you know, like, yeah, we want to make money off of our projects, but at the same time, just do what's fun. It's going to feel a lot more natural and it's going to be like, you're going to have more fun doing it. And, you know, if three people read it, like my book, you know, it's like, you know, just do what's fun. You created something from nothing and that should be something to be, to be proud of. Um, we're having fun here. Um, and you know, just do what's fun and call, like, if, if you like think it's a waste of time to do something you don't think will, um, so, well, you know, just call it play and have fun within it. Not everything has to be, um, about, I mean, success could just mean, you could redefine success. Like it could just mean that it's fun and that's okay too you know it might spark another idea that could be like a bestseller so <laughs> you never know um and the final tip is that emotion overcome the outcome so like children create for the sheer joy of it without the burden of expectations and i really do, do believe that that's very true like 
they create because they want to or they're bored and they don't want to be bored anymore or it's just funny or exciting you know so really embrace um your emotion and experiences in your art and your art will evoke that emotion back to the audience back to the reader like i said it's going to be more fun for the reader and the audience if you're having fun doing it without so many expectations and on that note do be kind to yourself um it's very brave to express yourself and share with the world so do be kind to yourself that's a little bit of a bonus tip and be kind to your inner child you know have some fun <laughs> this is cranberry um I had him forever literally and so anyway uh yeah he's a beanie baby he was one of those big beanie babies <laughs> anyway um the 90s <laughs> i miss the 90s so pretend it's the 90s or the early oos or the t 20 teens is that what we're calling them um anyway just pretend that you're 10 years old five years old seven years old and it'll do just fine. It'll be a fun experiment, I promise. But anyway, being a busy creative with a full-time job doesn't mean you have to sacrifice your artistic dreams. By harnessing the power of childlike play, you can inject renewed energy and enthusiasm into your artistic pursuits. Remember, art isn't just about the finished project. It's about the process, the experimentation, and the joy that comes with expressing your innermost arts. Embrace childlike play, reignite that creative spark, and embark on a fulfilling journey of artistic growth. Yeah, I wrote a really good blog post. I I wrote. <laughs> I can't stare at me. I wrote a really good blog post, and that's why I'm reading my notes more than usual. But I am taking my own advice and not worrying about being such a professional and having fun doing it. So. Mr. Cranberry says to hit that subscribe button and like the video if you liked it. <laughs> I hope that helped you guys be more creative and I hope you go out and buy some milk and cookies because you deserve it. All right, y'all. Have a great time creating and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>